All right, guys. Let's see if it worked. We need to go to Weenon Prairie. Weenon Prairie. Weenon Prairie. Oh yeah, she was at the farm. Shit, I shouldn't have come here. Because hopefully the brothers didn't wake up, which would be bad. Ah! So she's at Nixus's camp. Woo! Chunk. The chunk. Badunk. There's Sif. Such odd things, such odd patterns. No, it couldn't be. Husband said, oh shit, it's still not working. I don't know what it is. Scared me to death. I'm actually glad you came. There have been signs. You should have been signs that would be bad signs to tell everything. Only I've wished you had misheard. It's not your fault, it's ours. We failed our cause. Shall we turn home? Can I burden you once more? Fast we get there. Oh, so I'm, I'm bringing her with Take me now? Care. So now I have two followers. Lul. Lul, lul, lul. I'm sorry guys, we're just gonna have to go by the book. Let's see what the quest's saying. I found Travis River and says, Strange Heart never noticed it before. Her husband was frantic over fearing something that happened to her when she returned without her. He was overjoyed to learn of her safety. But upon hearing the story of the sword and sixth, he came came really so so asked me to go and form his wife to return home straight away. Something tells me that I should not linger too long to believe for one of strange vision. And I found Arena right where she said she would be. At Sixus's old camp, I found her speaking with her husband of his odd behavior. Thus, request requests come to her. Upon hearing her husband's words, she agreed to come home. Kind of her agreed to escort her back to her husband. Well, here we go. Wake up, asshole. Stop being asleep. Good day. Good day. Found her. I don't believe in my wife. Thank you. Do you catch up your end? Creatures, they are fear from the stories legends. So there's some creatures called fear. I've never seen one Please forgive me. I'll tell you this though. The story's not over So there's some crazy things called fears Travis kept his word upon time. He's interested in someone knows fear. That there's even more to the stories you I'm willing. I should give him a few days to collect the such Be with Marina. I hope about the fear. Thanks again for coming. I fear to tell her everything. He's not easy for him. His fear has haunted him. You see, my husband used to study this thing. His fear. Through early years, changed how I became pregnant. My life went back to normal. After a long last vision, a vision of fear. Maggie used to sign. Turned back to his books. Bring a child. Feared. Maggie began to take interest. Welcome her interest. She left when she was 16. And that night, fear was there. Hidden deep within her voice. Sometimes. I uh, was saying, but for now, I think that's enough. Now, do before I forget, if you reward a chest. Okay. Let's go ahead. So, at Stuben Narina, the sword, the pure draconian begins to change. Not physical change, for it looks the same, but I can feel it differently before. It's strange. I feel stronger, yet weaker at the same time. I should hurry to the old camp to locate that stolen potion. Perhaps when I get back, I can ask Narina. Set essential. <laughs> Someone put some code in the wrong place. So, apparently. Pure Dracone removed. A darker Dracone added. I I did catch the thing about a chest back here. Ah. Uh, crusher of Dracone. Holy shit. That is some crazy poisons. Alright, so let's head back to the camp. And I apologize if you hear noise. Apparently my roommate decided almost 10 o'clock at night was the perfect time for vacuuming. Uh, I don't want to be at the farm. I want to be at the camp. God, I gotta go back to the camp again. Let's check out the darker Draconi's stats. Damage fatigue, soul trap, drain, endurance. Huh. See if I can find the missing potion. No. No. Hmm. Ah. Ooh. Kingslayer. Found near the potion of the sixth soul. I should be able to take it back to her. So she's to her husband to share the rest of her. Speak to him about the sword. His effects are rather disturbing. After a while, I feel like my mind is being pulled to his One hold is upon my body. The other is slowly slipping away to some place. But I'm fogging death. Perhaps I should have heard their home near the Wanted Inn. Wanted Inn. Got to go to the Wanted Inn. Wanted Inn. 
not even really closer. They're pretty much just as far as each other. Good time. You're back, thank the nines, my friend. I'm back with the potion. I'm say I'm glad you returned. To be able to annoy spoke, he has agreed. I do think she only wants you to do, so thank you, potion. Go ahead and talk to my husband. Be seeing you. Wait, I'm what? at your s I don't even Dude, stop fucking sleeping. I hope I can. I wish this wasn't so fast. Go ahead. Well, it was really foolish. Something I think you should. The sword is wrong. I've told the family sword. I have one look, and it belongs to the Emperor himself. The sword was stolen by my grandfather's back in the fear. The sword is theirs. Now we're for no reason for fear. Powerful blessing. And our line is broken. Line of not the heart. If you wish to get it. Farewell. Son of a bitch. So the this was the emperor this was the fear sword or the I'm emperor sword and they got blessed. It was his fault. He told me it hasn't takes as much to blame as all this. He was broken by um, his granddaughter and child. We're gonna see how truly lost her daughter was. So now he talks. Oh, well, while was your child or granddaughter? What are you trying to attach her? Try to strike off out of the coral. This is at the stables. Some I think someone died, but I don't know. I, I can't. Can you purify the sword? Why do you need to be? We can't. You see our power blessing. We're seeing blessing up for nearly seven years. So now I gotta talk to the husband again. Okay. Like they're just gonna play the sleep bounce game. My your Fear line is broken. Soldier, hear the caution. They almost lost her, Maggie. Myself, we discovered an ancient tomb. It was a strange dream of Maggie. <laughs> I can't. I'm so sorry. Losing yourself to the fear changes your fear. Frame is strange. I'm losing myself to the fear. <laughs> Nightblade? Jewel of the Unclad Amount of Shimmering Stone. So, Nightblade. A Shimmering Stone. Rowboat Chest Key. Go search out this cave for it's supposed to be the source of the fear, but he is unsure. He has pointed me in the direction of an abandoned boat. Inside the chest is the skeleton key. I need to enter the cave. On the other hand, Serena told me quite a bit of a family. Perhaps I'll discover more at this cave. I should hurry there to take care of this before anything else. So I need to find this cave with this, this rowboat in this cave. It's kind of far, but there's really no other way to get there other than just leaping into the ocean and swimming. God, I wish that I don't know why Silent Voices mod is just not working. It's really retarded. <laughs> Always useful to get in the room. And up, up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up. Rip. Oh. Wow, that thing took two hits. It's impressive. Club steel. Look, okay, Travis, a little robot not too far from the door. Come for these torches, a lantern, a few healing potions, and some weapons. Now I have to reach it shouldn't be hard to find. Travis said he turned back at this point, so it must be around here somewhere. This close to fear, I've never felt better. My mind is much clearer here since I gave up the darker Draconi. Perhaps there's a link between the fear and the sword. I thought they already established that. Hmm. The cave's gotta be around here somewhere. Hmm. If I can't find it before too long, I might cheat. Oop. Hello, Wolfie. God. He turned back at this point. Come on, lady, you can beat a mountain lion, right? Whoa, what the fuck is that? What in the hell? That. That is strange. That's not normal. Maybe this is the dock he intended to reach. It would be certainly interesting if that was the case. What the hell? 
though. This is not normal. Aha. Found it. There is only one rule, stain light. Find my way through the mist and enter the cavern of fear. The air is heavy with something unknown to me, but it is as Travis thought it would be. The mist of this place seems to be throwing my spells thoughts. Can't remember any of his spells. Looking for me, Travis had the presence of mind to give me two the two stones for I can remember their magic without a problem. I should push my way deeper into the cave. There's a lantern mod, by the way. Shit. Holy fuck. How do I use this thing, though? I don't know how. There you are, you motherfucker. Get up, Joanna. Alright, here's the plan. Take a Templar sword. There we go. Now I can see. Fuck! Fuck you, you stupid fear. This isn't gonna be as quick, but... This is definitely the best way to do it. That's a creepy looking thing. Holy shit, it's... God damn- oh, she knocked him up, wow. Holy shit. Fuck me, dude! Man, this place is dark as hell. Are the torches any better? check my map to find out what this place looks like, but holy shit, is it dark. I'm a little creeped out. I can see you, though. Where'd you go? Stop. Why do you keep attacking Joanna? I mean, she's good at... Apparently she draws good aggro. <laughs> I more than you. <laughs> she's talking about a creature literally called Fear, and she's like, I've fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. Lols. Show me what you Shit, join us down again. Where is he? Whoop! That's a little creepy just to see the white dots. Those of you watching at lower resolutions might not even be able to see that shit. But they're there. These little glossy dots. It's my pleasure. I am honored. Cool. So now I've got her some new duds. Maybe she won't die as easily now. This looks like a tunnel. I don't even know what I'm doing. Son of a bitch. I'm on your side. So get out of the way! Oh god. There's fucking three of them. I'm just swinging away. I know this is boring, but fuck, I'm not going out there. Oh, she back, got back up. Awesome. Hold the line, Joanna! Let me hold the line against the darkness. Oh shit, fall back. Oh, they apparently can't walk over her body though. Thanks for that, idiots. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait a second, I just thought of something. Okay, so I thought they might be spells, like, in here. Got the arrows wrong. Fuck you. God damn. 
Am I going in a circle? Holy shit. Another room with more fear in it right here. Oh shit! You scared me, dude. Yeah! Ah! Fuck. Let's get this over with. Fucking hell. Do your work. God damn. Oh no. God damn. Ah! How is it possible? Oh no. How the fuck did I get down here? Oh my god, how do I get out of here? Oh shit. Oh no, they're gonna... Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many. Alright, that's it. Armageddon! Fuck you! I can't see shit. But I can slice you guys the fuck up. Fuck you, fears. Oh shit. Whoa! I can see you, motherfucker. All I need to see is the fire. Why'd you stand up into that? Oh my god, no. I accept your surrender. Thank god. Hail, Grandmaster. Two days ago, I met up with an old friend of mine. His name is Marcus. He has served in the Imperial Legion for five years. Huh. But he got tired of that job and he quit. It wasn't ex and he wondered if it would be possible for him to... I would like to meet him first. As you wish, Grandmaster. Cool. Bye. Oh, cool. So we got a new Templar guy. So that shit's still not done yet. I think... Does this lead up to the second level or something? Or is that this? Does this lead up to where I want to go? Is this where I came from? So hard to fucking... Oh! Oh, okay, I get it. I want to go this way. Because this leads to the other side of the... the it's not a, a vertical thing, but it leads to the other side of the cavern. So that I can go this way. Whoa! <laughs> she got fucked up. I'll lift it off you, Joanna. Oh, there you go. Dude, she's got... Fucked up. Is she gonna go and... Fuck you, fears. Seems pretty deadly. Fuck, there's a couple of them. Son of a bitch. Get the fuck off. Oh my god, she just got tossed by one of them. Ugh. Holy shit, there's three. Joanna, I need you to get back up now. Oh, there she goes. She's swinging away. Alright, that's it. Fuck you, I can see your eyes. Just try to avoid the sword swinging around. That's a dead one. Oh man, look at how freaky these things look. They look kind of like hungers, but not quite. God, it's so dark. I so can't see where I'm going. But... Oh, thank God. The cavern depths. 
My thoughts are heavy with this fear. I don't know how much longer I can stand the darkness withstand the constant attack from both these strange creatures and the losses of my magic. I must hurry if I want to keep a home and stand here. Perhaps there's nothing here to find. I guess I should return to tell Travis his vein all was lost. No, there must be something. I got the feeling tells me so. Uh, let's hope I'm right. Otherwise, I'm just as lost as these poor souls. Fuck you, I saw you immediately. Man, Joanna is a baller. Thank goodness she was here. Holy shit. I think somehow they're not... Oh, there they go. Now they're hitting me again. Fuck, dude, even with my health, I'm taking damage here. These guys are tough as nails. Yeah, that's why this guy who made this mod offered a file set where the fears are less tough. <laughs> Alright, if she's unconscious... Time to go buck wild. Just slice him. Thank God for Armageddon. <laughs> she, ca she can cast magic. That's a bit of a bug. Your companions are not restricted. What is she doing? It's funny how I can see her glowing. Actually, I wanted to do this. Oh, th oh my god, my armor has been destroyed. This is going to be a lot of clicking, guys. God damn, look at how much my shit got blown up. That's why I started taking a lot of damage. Not only, like, these guys hit like trucks, but my they also destroyed my armor. Destroyed the fuck out of my armor. Night Eye. Oh, thank God. I can see. Hmm. That means, of course. Oh, thank God for Night Eye. It's that quick? Are you for fucking... Oh, my God. Son of a bitch. What if I bleed 100 points? Holy shit. Harm the gatekeeper. La, 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 la. Fuck. Son of a bitch. I'm stuck with this. Man, the night I was so cool. And now it's gone. That's an escape hole, but that's not the way to go. Where the fuck... Where did this one come from? The fuck? He must have come from the other pathway. Oh my god, this place looks huge. This is nutso. Without my spells, I don't know how I'm gonna heal all this damage. I'm just gonna have to rely on my armor to do a lot better and keep it up to date. Up to date, keep it repaired. Shit. At least I'm clearing out more of this place, but fucking hell. I hope I can. You should check your gear. Okay, I just made her repair her shit. Son of a bitch. The guys below us are active now. Okay, so this is a dead end. So this path leads to a dead end, so I need to keep going that way, okay. I don't really know what the point of this area was. Shit! That's it. I'm not attacking. I don't know why it always accuses me of attacking. You do realize I've been holding back. Shit. I just fucking knocked her out. Joanna. Are you okay, Joanna? Well, 
What have we here? What? Don't get it at all. Well, apparently we drew aggro from guys down here, so we should have at least a little bit of a clear path, I hope. Nothing's good in these chests. Like, he's gonna give strong potions of- like, did he just repurpose a cave or something? Like, it almost feels like that. Come on! Get him! Well, they have red blood. God damn. Fuck me, they hit hard. God damn. Summon from Moral Lord. <laughs> Look at how little that fucking does. Oh man. I'm not looking forward to the fact that I know I'm gonna have to fight. Oh shit. Let's go to the right. Looks like it leads to a place. With. Of course. There you are. Fucking saw you, asshole. I'm gonna die if I don't use this thing, so I'm just gonna have to. place is enormous. I can see why my character would legitimately be going crazy in here. Is there anything over this way? Oh my god. Okay, so that just led around to here. I'm just gonna go in here and make sure. Oh. Oh, it was a dead end. But there's a... This is definitely a repurposed dungeon. It's... My my jump was literally pitch black. That's crazy. Oh my god. That's what I felt like in a turn. I've come to a shrine of some sort of di with some sort. Despite the air being thick with fear, I'm glad to be in the light. Only it looks as though I wasn't the first one to make it as far, though I could still be the first one to make it out alive. Perhaps before I take the stone in the center, I should investigate the journal. Journal. Left home when I was but a day more than 16. My mom and father... Oh. Didn't hardly approve of they, they, my heart, and they... They knew they couldn't, but in they heart, their hearts they couldn't stop me. All I could think of was the fear of finding out everything and anything I could. It was not as daunting a test as I would thought. You see it everywhere. It was everywhere. It was in everything. It was everyone. Of course, my first location was I had to coral, but I had found as much as there as my father. Nothing. After only a few days I had North Bruma, the feeling was different. I don't know if it was fear or simply the cold. Either way, the search was useless. There was nothing there. After a little more than a week, I ventured again, this time to Chaden Hall. It was my first that I came across my flu. If I'd been wiser, I would have thought of it sooner and come here straight away. The Dark Brotherhood. Of course they don't speak with just anyone. We all know that. So it was either kill or have someone killed to contact them. In the end, I chose both. I had no other way. And after co completing the ritual, I was contacted by a speaker, a member by the of the black hand. Of course he wanted payment in blood, so I gave it to him. Before he was able to return to the shadows, I asked him my questions. He was reluctant to speak with me on such topics, he wouldn't say why. But he did point me to their sanctuary. My entry fee was the standard, and I will not go into it, but I did find out what I needed. No names will be given, and it was another price to pay, and one given up willingly. I spent almost two years there, hidden deep within the darkness of shadow. Oh, but how I learned how I lived. Upon leaving the sanctuary, I headed straight to my next city, there, my next target, Burville. It was there that I put my new knowledge to good use. It was a long time and consuming, time, long and time-consuming process. It only took another year, but in the end, I had my next target—a book that my, would point me to my final destination. But I had the target in sight now, Anvil, the place that would point me towards the shrine. Oh, how I wanted this! How I longed for it! I was so unprepared for what was to happen. I shall not share this with anyone the one thing I wish to keep to myself and all this, but I will say that the darkness of fear in my mind began to slowly lift. Seven years after I left home, seven long years, and I was finally going to return. Return with my new reason to live, Susan Exacta Carlesa. I was so nervous, so worried that my mother and father would turn me away and reject their grandchild, but they didn't. They welcomed us home with open arms like no other. 
I honestly thought that my life would return to normal, that my child would live a life of, without the burden of fear. That that night proved to me how wrong I was. I had to, though, I had to leave once again, back to Anvil and my studies. I debated leaving Susan with my parents. They would have loved to have her. They even offered, but in the end, I couldn't. She was the only thing that kept the darkness from my mind, my little savior. I decided, though, to make return visits home whenever the thought crossed my mind or when I needed to use the use of Father's mind of books. It wasn't until then that everything I learned began to come together in a way that was unlike anything before. With my new knowledge, with, with my new knowledge, with my father's great wisdom, we were so close to connecting the dots to ridding the world of this fear. But that was when I almost lost her, my dear Susan, who is now only six years old, maybe a little more, and all honestly I don't really remember now. My father and I came across something stunning while watching Susan play with the horse. It couldn't wait. I didn't have a I almost thought of leaving Susan to play while we went to gather the correct book. I so wish I had thought or regret I had, though. I wish I regret that day more than anything else. From what I could see, tell she fed the horse some poison berries from the garden, then in all fun ingested some herself. The horse died and she nearly fought into the darkness. I would say thank the nines, but I honestly don't think for even a moment that it would do any good. We are own we are we own our own actions, I guess? I don't know, but nevertheless she lived. But honestly I believe she died that day, for the darkness in my mind came rushing back. What came back to life was not my daughter, it was a fear. I know it in my heart. My parents could not see, they didn't want to, but I could. The fear was in my daughter, then as it was in me, I had to end it. I took my daughter back to Anvil, leaving her in the care of the chapel priest in the hopes that she would recover once I left this world for fear that what for that is what it would take. It would take it would claim my life. I know that now even though I refused to admit it to th then. I set out for the cavern, a place so close to home and yet so far away at the same time. Despite everything, I couldn't help myself. I went by mother and father's home on the way there. It was the dead of night and they were asleep, I just, so I just watched them. I couldn't bear to wake them. I, to tell them I was leaving mostly likely, most likely forever, it was too hard to bear. The fear was stronger hidden anywhere else, so strong I actually had to fight my way through it. Lost souls trapped here forever. No longer human, not even creatures, but something stuck between the two. What? <laughs> Despite my feelings, I have to return to my parents' home. I have to reclaim the sword before it can do this, its damage. I can't let them succumb to the horror of this fear. I will not let it happen. I finally found it. I found the stone of fear. It's a simple an object, a mere common looking trinket, but I know it's secret. I have the dancing blue fire surrounded without burning anything else. But I know to touch it equals death to all but the prepared, but I know the secret to that as well. My journal has shown me the ways of ending this once and for all. And yet I can't help feeling I should not make it out of this alive. The fear speaks in my mind, fills my heart with doubt. It does not want me to take it. It doesn't. Run and hide. Seek and play. Fight or flee. The thing so the, this thing fills my head with images of my life, games of my youth, the sacrifice of my travels. My parents are worried. My child is hurting. I can barely think now. The fear is approaching. So I leave this journal here and now. It's hard to think. Trying to keep a clear head. I want everyone, everyone, they literally put a one, to see, to hear. I want to to hear. I want their thoughts to listen. Thank you, Father. You help show me the way. Think clear. I don't blame you all. Here I go. I'm going to take it now. I'm picking up the journal. The effect of the poison air canceling their magic fades. Upon reading the journal, you discover the corpse is Maggie Dracon, the daughter of Travis and Nerina. It appears that in the end she was driven mad, even after a lifetime preparing the knowledge that only she obtained, she was killed upon touching the stone. I also learned that the sword has something to do with all this. Maggie believed it wasn't safe in her parents' care. Perhaps I, Travis or Nerina can learn more from the journal than I did. I should take it back with me. I should leave the stone for now. I will be back. I can't, I can't move her body. Oop. Oh, it's because her arm is, like, wedged. Come on, sit up. Let's see her face. That's one of the hair mods. That's not even close to original hair. <sighs> Feels so nice. Time to leave this horrible place. Thank goodness I read the journal. Perhaps I should read the journal before I pick up the stone. Hmm? <laughs> you think? <laughs> oh man, at least these fears are gone. What's the... Oh, it's this way. I remembered. Just as I opened the shit. You know what? Let's wait for one hour. That should uh, get rid of my health back to full. Yep. It's a lot of health to heal in an hour, but hey. Sadly, there's no shortcut out of here. If there was one, they removed it. Actually, it probably was where the shrine was. I bet the shrine covers the model of the door. I bet you money. But that's how they did it. Can she? Oh, God. Oh! Oh, she's okay. Good. Thank goodness. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, we need to head this way to go around. That's if you fell, which we didn't this time, thank goodness. 
can't believe I fell before. That sucked. That was a pretty intense fight to get through here. I'm not gonna lie. That was a tough one. Uh, we're almost out. I don't think there's any fears left alive. I'm pretty sure they all drew aggro. That's probably why he chose this dungeon. It was very linear. Had to pass all the fears. Wake them all up. Ah. Uh, Outside. The Wownit Inn. Hey, let's go to the Wownit Inn. Wownit Inn. All right, who's outside? I'm at your sir. I have returned. Thank you, guys. Tell me, what did you find? Have you discovered the sphere of Maggie's body and journal? I found the body of my daughter. Fenner, can you be sure you give the journal? This is my daughter's journal. Sixteenth. Thank you for this. Give me a bit to go over. Also, I'll be needing my items back. Corrupting Fear Song. Okay. Good day. So he took his shit back. A pleasure. I have some bad news. I ever heard of Mr. So Much. No, the last done is done. But I wonder whatever became of Susan. Took her to Anvil. Perhaps after all this is done. I'm sure about that time comes. Just hold a bit longer. Friend of mine. Should be too much trouble. Thank you. So she wants me to run some errands, I think. Right. Something long forgot. Quest begun. Yep. To locate a way. Nerina's asked me to run another errand for her this time to obtain a list of items from a friend who lives in the Elven Gardens. If I hadn't seen the Harbor Effect creatures, I would think the family is pulling my leg, but I've heard them, I've seen them. But still, this family has constant need to help. Its constant need for help is getting under my skin. La 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 la. That's pretty funny. Now, where are you? Is it one of you? Yes. I'm here for the item list. So where are you now? Strange, I realize this is the most important. Doesn't really matter. Here's the list. List of household items. I've obtained the list only if enough time has passed for tribes to learn anything. I like, but something urged me before, like a dying fire near what I must speak to him now, regardless of anything else. But first, I should return this to him. Put a stop to all this before they ask me to pick up their laundry or something. <laughs> Man, clearly the guy who wrote the dialogue and stuff in this was having a laugh. Because this is funny. This is silly. Hey, dude. Hey, old citizen. Good day. Oh, no. Back already faster than I hoped. I hate to tell you this, I really do, but you possibly give us more time. I have had it with this. I'm sorry, I don't know how I felt this way. I still think you should come back. Go speak with him. You too. What happens if you don't say that? I hope I can. She told you, well, it's not entirely true, but if you wish to know, I can tell you actually cross reference. Said, pull power, like the uh, first bit odd. Oh, fuck. No, tell me now. Oh, okay. Don't be so rude about it. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, I just, I have to wait for the actual thing. Good. My anger is getting harder to control. I can feel fear slipping into my own voice. My actions, even though my thoughts are more and more not my own. It seems closer I get to uncovering the truth behind the fear, the more I lose myself. Check out this mine outside Anvil. Try my luck in locating this corpse hand Travis mentioned. Perhaps if any luck, I might be able to help bring my mind back under control. The mine was on the beaches outside Anvil. So let's start at Dunbarro and move around the beaches. So the beaches of Anvil. Somewhere there is going to be a motherfucking cave where there's a corpse hand, whatever that is. The beaches of Anvil. You know what, I feel like that actually is more likely to mean... Look at her swimming. I feel like it's more likely to mean this way. <laughs> Did they add something to this island? That'd be hilarious, but I doubt it, because it's too close to Dunbar, I think. Obviously that is Dunbar. <laughs> Beaches of Anvil, huh? Could it be here? Well, the torch just got unequipped. Let's see if we can find this thing. 
I just feel like it might be hiding underwater. It easily could not be. In fact, it would be more surprising if it was. But I just don't want to risk missing it. It's definitely on a rock or something. Oh, wait, what's that? That looks like... Maybe, probably not. No, it's just a rock. Shit. Well, this, um, this objective marker sucks. How the fuck... There's so many rocks along the shore. No need to be so rude about it. God, guy. Shut up. Shirt to Furker. I just... The beaches are too big. I might have to... Fucking cheat. There's just so much ground to cover. And the guy even was like, oh, try to use the hints. The beaches of Anvil. Yeah, that's a great hint. Anvil's got a fuck ton of beaches, dude. I don't even know what that is there for. Fuck it. Cheating time.